And here we are. I'm just over a week since Glasgow. I'm finally home. I should be champion, but I'm not. I'm just reflecting. And Newton's third law for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Drew's law for every action, there will be a violent reaction like you've never seen, if you deserve it. CM Punk, let's go back to the press conference, post clash at the castle, sat there and said, as long as I'm breathing, as long as I have breath in my lungs, I'll make sure Drew McIntyre is never world champion. Let's start there. Because what I did to him in SmackDown, I could have made that reality happen so easy. I could have squeezed all the air of his stupid little fragile body. But no, I'd be letting him off. He doesn't deserve the easy way out. I left just enough life in his body so he can watch me succeed as he lays there as uncomfortable as humanly possible as his wife feeds him through a straw. He took everything from me in Glasgow. Maybe it would be a genius idea to rub the salt in the wounds, sit there wearing green, making all those stupid comments. What have I ever deserved in this life for a dumb-headed fuck like CM Punk to go into business for himself? And Punk can pretend when pushed, he's Satan himself. When I'm pushed to this level, I'm a justified monster. Satan's my bitch just like Phil. I mean, who can stop me? And I'm in the right. I'm the good guy here. Phil, you took my dreams. Now I'm the nightmare. You're going to see every time you close those soulless eyes of yours. You might think you're Satan when pushed. I'm a fucking psychopath. I hate you. I'm not sure I truly hated anyone in my entire life till you. But I can take solace in the fact you're in pain and you're suffering because of me. And my hate, it's all good. Because it dies with you.